CataractCoach.com. Great job for Case 500. That's about halfway up the learning curve for FACO. Now, we always talk about how tough the learning curve is for FACO. It's a surgery that takes a few years to learn, but a lifetime to master. And so here we have a fellow who's doing case number 500. Now you're saying, what is that big pterygium on the eye? Shouldn't you remove the pterygium first, then let it stabilize, then get better corneal measurements, so better biometry, better lens counts? Yes, you can, do, you can certainly do it that way, but some people who've had a pterygium like this that's quiescent and had this pterygium for a long time don't necessarily want it removed, and that's okay also. It just depends on the patient. So doing this cataract case here, let's see the incision. That's an important part of your signature. Incision looks pretty good. So nice incision there. I like how you hit the limbal vessels there just a little bit to make sure that this incision will seal up nicely. Visqualas going inside the eye. Not a huge fan of the air bubble in there, but still pretty good. Let's see the rexus. Oh, more viscoelastic, maybe a soft shell technique there. Here comes a cystotoma, pretty big cystotome. And poking into the lens capsule, getting a capsule flipped over. If you're a case 500, it's okay to graduate to using just the forceps. You don't have to use a cystotome. But if you like it, that's okay also. And now let's see more viscoelastic and, of course, the rexus. Now, remember the signature that you leave on every eye that every surgeon will see who looks at the eye in the future is your rexus and your incision. So make sure both of those are beautiful. Here comes the rexus. Very nicely done. See how the eye stays in primary? By the way, of course, nice draping. That's very important. Good-looking rexus. Good pivoting technique here. Maybe a little more viscoelastic if you need it. Yeah, put it. It's worth putting it in there. Get the bubble out. I agree. It's going to make it easier for you. So let's finish up the rexus here. Again, looks really good. Case 500 is important because then you know, hey, I'm halfway up there. Now, the danger is if you're at case 100, you think, well, I'm pretty good by it. I've done 100 cases. You will be humbled very shortly in the near future. Because 500 cases is really what it takes. That's a beautiful looking rexus, nicely centered, five millimeters. And let's see the hydrodissection here. So a little bit of hydrodissection. Yeah, we sped the video up to 2x normal speed just so we can get through it in a timely manner. I know how my cataract coach audience has a very short attention span. So we're now rotating that nucleus there. You know, when we watch it on uh, the, we look at the analytics, YouTube, I have to show you something great within 30 seconds or you're gone. But the same video on Instagram, I have three seconds before you flip to the next picture or the next video. So it's a different world these days. Here comes the Faker Probe going inside there. Let's see, I'm watching the video for the first time with you. What will be the technique here? And groove down the middle. So I'm gonna guess stop and chop is gonna be my guess, but nicely done on the groove. See how the eye stays in primary during that groove? See how the hand moves instead? That's really nice. That's I can tell this is case 500, that looks great. So you may wanna do the groove a little, I would do it a little wider here and then do a little deeper. But let's see if you can crack it with just that. Yep, in fact you can. Prop get that crack, and then let's see, rotate it again 180, fully separate, and just bring it half up. Now, you see me do that all the time as well. So sometimes if the nucleus isn't that dense, I don't need to do more than two hemi-nuclear pieces. So one separation into two halves, and then each half can be brought up and emulsified, and that's pretty efficient. I like the use of the second hand here to kind of bring the pieces around. So important to be a two-handed surgeon. There's a little bit of chop, so yeah, stop and chop if you will. That looks great, get that last piece up. Chamber stability looks pretty good, good fluidics. I don't see too much chamber bounce. So you've got pretty, really little bit of bounce maybe. Maybe try increase your infusion pressure a little bit or decrease your aspiration flow rate. And that's pretty nicely cleaned up. I do the rest with the, with the IA probe. Hey, remember cataractcoach.com is the best teaching website ever. 2,000 plus videos, all for you, all for free. Index, categorized, so easy to search. Plus the free PDF book, plus the curriculum series, plus so much more. Now, bimanual IA, cleaning up the lens cortex. Good technique here. See how the eye basically stays in primary? That's important. So case 500, you're doing a fantastic job here. This is fantastic for case 500. Keep up the good work, do more and more volume, and you will become absolutely world-class. So again, this is an anonymous video, so we're not saying any names here, but I think we can all agree it's a pretty darn good video here. Pretty darn good case. So taking out that lens cortex there, switching hands again. Ideally, next time, you don't want to switch hands too many times back and forth. You want to just switch it once. So maybe do a little bit more of a complete um, removal the first time. And then that's still pretty good. I like how the eye is in primary, how the eye is centered in the video view, how the eye is in focus. These are important issues. Don't send me a video that's out of focus. I'm not going to use it because you, you, my audience, will not watch it. So taking your time here, getting that cortex out. And then once that's done, oh, still a little bit left there, huh? Yeah, you can go through the main incision if you want. 
You can also put the IOL in first if you'd like to and then help it, you know, loosen it up by rotating the lens. But there you go. There's removed all, there you go. All the cortex is removed. It looks clean, nice and easy. Yup, pretty good. Let's see what we're going to do for the lens. Are you going to do hydro implantation maybe? Or we're going to do visco hydro implantation. All right. That's an advanced move. I like that. Inject the lens nice and easy. There it goes. Get it in the bag. Uh, 7L rule intact. Anti-S. Look at the Rex. This beautiful overlap. I think you've done a great job here. So beautifully done case. Keep up the good work. For halfway up the learning curve, you're just doing a great job. Fantastic. Congratulations to you. Keep it up. Remember, be your own toughest critic. And you know, next time that Rex is, could be a little bit more centered. But you did a beautiful job. Thanks for watching. And remember, if you're a young doctor, so much great free material for you on catacoach.com. I'll teach you all the secrets to cataract surgery.